As far as I know, the first guy we ever saw who had face paint on, at least among the Duckman crew, I never even noticed it. And I actually didn't notice it then, but it'd be W.E. Red Dog Phillips. Got to get in town, you know, something new come along. I grab some in a sporting goods store. They don't get out much, you know. It was brown to match his red hair. He had hair back then. <laughs> Of course, it might have been a sign of a weak self-image. I didn't have a big beard and all that stuff, so I guess I need to make up different ways. He's extra, he's extra white, that's why. The rest of us kind of tan looking. You know, he, he's white boy. That's why he had to use it first. But it actually, as it turned out, was a good idea. I mean, you see Indians put war paint on. I'm just trying to cover up my mug. If you take a wide shot of the duck blind, it may be camouflage to the hilt, and the first thing you see is that big old white face standing out there if someone doesn't have a mask on or face paint. Maroon color, black, gray, dark brown, and then you come to a guy's face, you know, it's just like holding up a, a white paper plate. When I first started hunting with Phil, it was down on Moss Lake in that big tree blind and there wasn't no face paint. So what we would do is, is we'd just get behind some brush or get some, some Spanish moss and hang over your face or something. Duck hunters, it's a paranoid group anyway, but I believe the Robertsons are the most paranoid people on the face of the earth. You just made a bad call on yep. 40. Get them. That's just dumb. But the past before was close from that. Front you boys are always talking smack about my shooting. Right. I just saw it. It was terrible. I've killing a whole bunch of Y'all. I'm not going to take the blame. You in this duck blind, if they're 20 yards from me, they're 20 yards from you. They weren't? Well, I ain't taking the blame, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you can get off of that horse. He's dead. But they're too far to I'm cut. Mean, they can't see They're way too far to cut. And then you said, cut them. And I said, they're almost there. And you said, cut them. I said, OK. <laughs> I mean, we could have a group of ducks come in, and if we didn't get them all, somebody would say, well, who moved? You know, they saw your face. It was always Phil talking, get the face paint on. You know, don't forget the face paint. Everybody get it on. And he'd be looking down the line, talking about, all right, hey, you ain't got no face paint. Put it on, son. But I'm just going for effect. I'm just smearing, get it over with. You know, Godwin's got the, you know, the, like the Buck Commander logo on his face. That's how I do it. I have now put face paint on people who hunt with us, mainly women and children. Neither one have whiskers. And women and children tend to be bright white if they're of European descent. It's going to make you a. I was like, I'm not wearing that stuff. But then it came such a deal that everybody was putting it on. And if you didn't wear it, then you were like the, the one who was flaring all the ducks. So I finally had to succumb to peer pressure to wear this face paint. It's a rough looking thing, a clean shaven man who's been in an office for all year and go to a duck blind. He's a sight to behold. So you dark him up a little bit. He's, he's at least worth looking at and ducks can't see him. So. I'm not looking down, I'm looking at them. You ain't got face paint on, you can't do that. And so now it's just a part of what you do. You wake up in the morning, first thing you do, you look for a mirror, you put the face paint on, and then you're set for the day. It sort of started the trend there, and uh, it's really pretty effective. But for us, it's pretty well when you get to the face paint. That means, that means the action is imminent.
Kill them all.